Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Kal Halayim Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kodash. Double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who always rule well and teach well to the hopeful elect that's prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom of America and bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, in all fear, shall warm. This is the Brother Quanaa from the GMS Birmingham Trumpet Camp, the church in Alabama. And we have been blessed to receive this marvelous truth through the gift of faith. And that's the only way that we believe the report. That's the only way that we have received this 100% doctrine of this King James Version, these true riches in this gross darkness, is we was blessed with the gift of faith. And when you watch the apostles live screen and you see these buck up artists, as I like to call them, like the scripture refer them to as these scoffers and these scorners. All right. And you see them buck up and make all type of type of empty comments is because of what? A lack of faith. All right. Which leads to unbelief, which is going to lead to their destruction. And it's the same thing when we're out on the highways and byways and hedges. Just say a Jake walk up and we're telling him that his savior is a so-called black man. All right, and his father, and you are the people, all right, of the Bible, because of their unbelief, because of their lack of faith, they don't get it. They can't receive it, which is going to lead to their destruction. All right, but we, through the uh, gift of faith, and I'm going to get it. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter two, and verse eight. For by grace ye are saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Most High, all right? So through the grace of the Most High, all right, sending us faith, all right, and, and sending us his, his, his only begotten son and giving us faith, should I say, in his only begotten son, which is a gift, all right, we believe the report, all right? We, we, we got a chance of salvation. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 10. And I'm going to uh, go to verse 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? The book of Isaiah of uh, uh, 53, all right, of verse 1. Verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. All right. So by us hearing the apostles and the elders, all right, via the Internet. All right. We heard them and we heard them through what? Through faith. All right. Which gives us a chance to fight for salvation. All right. Only through through faith. All right. The scripture said what? So then faith cometh by hearing. All right. We had to hear the word first. First, so like it. All right. And we heard it mixed with faith. All right. And it says in hearing by the word of God, which is what? Uh, uh, Yahweh Shah, the spirit of prophecy. OK. And, and we was blessed with faith. The water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Barakah the Yahweh, Barakah the Yahweh Shah. All right. For blessing us with faith. All right. And the only the ones that's going out showing their faith by their works. That's evident that they have faith because they're showing their faith by their works. All right. But you two thirds of our people by the lack of faith. All right. You're not going to believe that Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man. And he's coming back on our vehicles of salvation, all right, which are the identifiable flying objects, all right, to deliver us. And we are the princes of the power, all right, Yahshua Allah, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. You're not going to believe this, all right? And through that, that's going to lead to your destruction. This is the book of, the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, all right? And we heard the gospel, what? Preached to us via the internet, through our apostles and our elders, all right? And that us is the men who have faith and, and that believed in, in that believe in, in report. And that's evident that we believe when Yahweh Shah walked to earth 2,000 some odd years ago, all right? Because we believe now. Read known as well as unto them, and that's that, that them is the two-thirds. All right, the ones who don't believe, the ones who don't have faith. But the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them, they heard it. So let's read that again. Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, 
as well un, as unto them. All right. We heard the same gospel that they heard and that they mean, meaning the ones without faith. All right. Leads to unbelief. All right. We heard the same gospel. All right. But the word preached did not profit them. All right. Why not being mixed with faith in them that heard it? All right. So the two thirds that hear this word or the people. All right. Of our nation. All right. Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. The ones who don't believe this truth. All right. You don't have faith mixed in you. All right. You heard this word, too. Everybody has heard this word. All right. But they didn't hear it mixed with faith, which what is going to lead to their destruction. All right. And we Lord willing, we be those men. Abba Rathasa, we endure to the end. All right. We, we be those men that heard this word that was mixed with faith. All right. This is the book of Psalms. Sixty nine. So lock him, lock him. Bear with me. My device is just a little slow. This is the book of Psalms, 69, verse 22, and it reads, let their table become a snare before them, all right? And that's the ones who, without belief, the ones who lack faith, all right? This table, which are, which is these scriptures, all right? You open up uh, uh, this, these scriptures, it's symbolic to, to sit down at the table eating, all right? This, this food, okay? Let their table become a snare before them. And that which and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. All right. In these scriptures. All right. Which have, which should have been a, a, a welfare. All right. For you people, for you two thirds, it, it should have been a benefit. All right. To you people. All right. Because you heard it with without a mixture of faith. All right. It has become a snare to you. It has become a trap. All right. And what happens to something that get caught up in a trap? Eventually it dies. All right. That's why your unbelief is going to lead to destruction. So let's read that again. Psalm 69 and 22. Let their table become a snare before them and that which should have been for their welfare, which are these scriptures, which should have been for your benefit. But it's not because it, you heard it not mixed with faith. Let it become a trap. All right. Let it become a death trap to you. All right. God, it's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That's right. So when we're teaching, all right, when we're uh, uh, increasing in the spirit, all right, we're going on about our day, all right, and we're, and we're in the spirit. Don't let the ones that are not in the spirit, why they're not in the spirit, because they heard this word without the mixture of faith. All right. Don't let their incredulity and that incredulity means what? Unbelief. Don't let their unbelief trouble us. All right. Because we know these things through faith that is going to happen. Why? Because the scripture says what? These words are faithful and true. All right. And we solely believe them. Why? Because we heard them with a mixture of faith. All right. So let's read that again from the top. All right. Uh, second Ezra 15 and verse 3 fear not the imagination against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee all right and that's all those ones coming up on these comments board all right the comment board warriors these keyboard warriors all right I like to call them buck up artists all right but they're scoffers and they're scorners all right non-believers all right uh, people who lack faith okay they're gonna speak against us all right but just simply because what we know to be true through faith and the understanding of these scriptures through Yahweh Shai supping with us, all right? But death to these people, man. That's why we put curses on these people. That's why we have to deal with these people rough sometimes, all right? But at the end of the day, we don't lose any sleep, all right? Why? We're going to read it again. Second Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And that's right, man. All right. Because we're going on in salvation, man. All right. Because we, we have been blessed to hear these scriptures, man. All right. We have been blessed with those spiritual ears. We have been blessed with, uh, with that gift of faith. All right. This is the book of St. Matthews, chapter 13 and verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables because they seeing see not. And hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And that's right, man. Everybody, what, got 
physical ears and physical eyes, all right? But these two-thirds of our people, they don't have the spiritual eyes or the spiritual ears, all right? Why? Because they lack faith, which leads to non-belief, which leads to your destruction, all right? Verse 14, Matthew 13 and 14, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. Perceive means to what? To receive it, all right? To see these things happening. In, in, in order to believe these things, you got to see it. Apostle Gabal always go into that, man. You got to envision these things, man. You can't believe nothing you can't see, all right? And these people are not blessed with the spiritual ear and the spiritual eyes, man. All right. And these people, meaning these two thirds of our, of our nation, man, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American. All right. The children of Israel, man, the two thirds of Israel. All right. Verse 15, for the for this people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their hearts and should be converted and I should heal them. All right. And see, and that's that's that snare. All right. That Psalm 69 speaks of in 22. All right. This have should this should have been for your welfare. All right. But through a lack of faith, through you not hearing these things. All right. And you can't see them. You can't perceive them. All right, because you you didn't hear him with a mixture of faith. All right, you're not gonna be healed. You you don't have a chance of salvation. All right, Yahweh Shah is is not gonna come in and sup with you. And in that great day of the Lord, you're not gonna be covered. All right, because we are in that secret place. All right, why? Because we receive these things. All right, we hear these things. We see these visions. All right, we believe these things and we know these things through the mixture of faith that they are going to take place. America is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles. All right, and before that, it's going to be all out chaos on the, on the soils of America. All right, it's going to be a, a physical famine. All right, of food and water. It's going to be a spiritual famine of this word. All right, it's going to, like I said, it's going to be race riots. They're going to impute. All right, this RFID chip is going to be made mandated. All right, they're, they're going to try to push their full agenda or complete their, their agenda, should I say, on this new world order. These things are going to happen, man. Whether you people hear it for a bear, man. All right, and the prophets are what? Are known as what? In the ancient times as what? Seers. Okay, and only the prophets see these things. And that's why we're prophesying are the things that we, are, that we foresee through faith. All right. And we do all things through faith. All right. Which is a gift from the most high. All right. Matthew 13 and 16. Blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. All right. And that's the men. All right. That going out on the highways and byways and hedges and showing our faith by our works. All right. Our eyes are, are blessed. All right. Because we, we hear the prophecies. OK. And blessed are our eyes because we see the prophecies taking place. All right. You know, with that, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to read um, verse 17. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see. See, and that what makes this thing so precious. This scripture alone should show you this is why this is a precious thing for us to wake up and to see and to hear these prophecies and foresee these things going and to show our faith by our works. All right. And this gross darkness and this last time. All right. This last go around. OK. Reading on in Matthew 13 and 17 and had not, and have not seen them and to hear those things which he hear and have not heard them. See. The, the scripture said the angels inquire of the things that, that we have been shown, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So this is a marvelous thing that we have this 100 percent doctor, man. And know that everybody is not going to going to get it. But why? Because they, they don't have the spiritual eyes to see these things and they don't have the spiritual ears. All right. To hear these prophecies. And, and most importantly, they don't have faith. They don't hear these scriptures with a mixture of faith. All right. And blessed are our eyes.